What's going on guys? Welcome back to Life by the Bow. If you're new here, I'm Clay. This is my fiance Stephanie. And we got two guests with us today. Who we got? We've got my brother Dominic and his girlfriend Amber. Hi. And it is actually Amber's birthday tomorrow. So we're doing an early birthday fishing trip. We're gonna go out there, try to catch some dolphin. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully she brings the luck. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, let's go. fun so we've been trying to drive around to catch some birds on some dolphins we're trying to come up on some birds on dolphin but didn't happen so now we're gonna slow things down with some trolling rods that's right so we've been running around all morning trying to find birds debris something to hold fish and it just hasn't been that productive so we've decided to slow down a little bit get on the troll we got four rods out right now so hopefully there's some fish around and they're hungry because we're getting antsy right now we need a fish dolphin or mahi mahi are most commonly caught around the gulf stream which in island Mirada can be anywhere from 400 to 1500 feet of water but we've always found 600 to 800 feet to be the most productive. Um, there's two ways to fish for dolphin, which are trolling and running and gunning. Most people prefer trolling as you burn less in fuel and you typically score bigger fish, but you're covering less ground. On the other hand, we prefer running and gunning, which consists of running at optimal cruising speed, zigzagging from 600 to 800 feet of water, looking for birds or debris. Once we've found an area that looks fishy, we'll cast artificial baits on spinning rods, and if the fish are picky, we'll switch to dead bait like squid or ballyhoo. The reason why we prefer running and gunning is because it's typically way more productive. Ultimately, between the two styles of fishing, you want to fish areas with debris or large tightly packed patches of seaweed, which attract bait fish and return the bait fish attract mahi mahi or dolphin. Another thing to look for is birds, but only when they're behaving in a certain way. If you find a group of birds dive bombing the surface, it typically means there's dolphin underneath them pushing up the bait which the birds are feeding on. Unfortunately, it's still a little early in the season as dolphin really show up in good numbers towards the beginning of June. So we didn't have too much luck today, but we still got one in the box and we still had a blast just getting out there and taking advantage of just such a beautiful day. but it'll do. You almost fell in the water there, huh? You know, it's always nice to just absolutely kill it and get a ton of fish. But I'm gonna tell you something. I used to work for a fishing TV show. There's sometimes we would fish for three days straight and not catch the targeted species. So, I mean, Fishes work, man. You know, there's days where it's really good, and then there's days where it's just not happening. And that was kind of today. I mean, we picked the way, we put in a lot of time, we got into some small ones. Luckily, we got one big enough to keep for dinner. But, you know, at the end of the day, that's all you need sometimes, man. I mean, what's my favorite part about fishing is just being out there. So this is a female right here. And the way that you can tell a female from a male 
see how that head is rounded right there if it was a little more square that would be a male very easy quick way to differentiate a male from a female so once you've made a cut all the way around the entire body what you can literally do is just kind of just grab with your finger like that get a good grip and then you can literally just take this skin and peel it right off of the meat some people don't like doing this they like cutting the skin off so you don't get all these fibers but they don't seem to bother us we don't mind them but if you do want to get rid of those fibers you can always just cut the skin from the actual meat and just like any fish you're just gonna go right down the spine go around the backbone the heads and the eyeballs? Nah, because a shark will come in time before that thing will even float up. That's it right there. Nice little 24 inch schoolie dolphin. All you need for dinner. So last but not least, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bloodline from this fish. The reason why you remove the bloodline is just because it makes the fish taste a lot better. It removes kind of that fishy taste from it. So that's it right there. One whole mahi mahi, more than enough for Stephanie and I. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse this in some salt water real quick. There you go. So this is what's so cool when we fillet fish off the dock. We always get sharks and tarpon that come up. So we have that bloodline from the mahi that we just filleted. We're gonna toss it in the water, see if we can catch a shark or a tarpon. Big shark. Yeah. Oh, it on, baby. Look, look to your right. To your right, he's gonna jump. Oh, I just broke it. There. How cool is that, man? That's all we needed right there. I just wanted to see him jump. All right, let's go to the sandbar for real this time. guys when well, we just made it to the sandbar here there's actually a lot of boats here which I don't know if necessarily is such a good thing um, due to the given situation going on right now in the world but we're definitely gonna keep our distance from everybody else and stay within our own little group um, obviously if 10 people or less but we're gonna anchor up the boat get in the water what do you say I say let's get in the water and refresh and have a Sounds good. Alrighty, let's anchor this boat up. Look at that shirt right there. Yeah! Okay. I'm a better one. Turn on the props. I'm gonna snap my <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. How how good is a veil? Oh, look at that. Completely off. Passes the wet test. Yep. working on something. Yep, I'm snapping the ends off the green beans because this is going to be our side. And tonight, I'm going to be making some lemon garlic mahi mahi. Alrighty guys, so right now I'm at the end. What I'm about to do is I'm about to cook that fish Put it in that pan and I'm gonna saute it 
three minutes per side, stick it back on that pan, put it in the oven, and let it sit there for five minutes. Cook this mixture up on the stove, then top that finished fish with that mixture. And what's, what's in the mixture? Tell us what's in there. All right, we got some lemon, some peel shavings, I guess, the lemon peel shaving. Or grated lemon, lemon shavings. Peel. Yeah, lemon shavings. A lot of digestion. <laughs> then we've got some <laughs> garlic, parsley, butter, and green onions. There we go. That's the mixture. I'm actually gonna attach the link of the recipe so you guys can follow this recipe. Talk about two beautiful creations right there. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go eat. All right, guys, so as you can see, we finally made it here to the dinner table. I'm pumped. Stephanie's already tried it, so squeeze. And I'm about to dig in because this is delicious. This meal. She's she's so hungry. I'm so I'm, hungry. I'm hungry too, but I just wanted to say before we do try this, it has just been such a great long day. I mean, we did so much between waking up at 6 a.m., going dolphin fishing this morning. I know Stephanie loves waking up early. Mm -hmm. um, making a tarpon jump off of our very own dock, going to the sandbar, and then coming home to just prepare this beautiful meal of a fish that we just caught hours ago. Tell me what you think. Let's see. Let's hear it. Woo! That is so good. What's gotten into you lately? Listen, it's, this girl could not cook in the past. It's this you quarantine. So good. It's given me a little more time to spend in the kitchen. So you know, if I, guess. if I leave this quarantine and I'm not a good chef, something's wrong with me. I guess so. Hey, okay. turn a negative situation into a positive. Exactly. Do that each and every day, guys. But mm -hmm. we appreciate you guys watching so much. As always, more to come. Like, subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.